I'm in between those houses now. All right. You don't have gold plans. Slowly encroaching. Encroaching. Not good. Time to time to warn them. I'll steadily slowing down. Actually, it's starting to stall. Work, we used to have uh, 181 down. Um, we're hanging something up. You have some bump. It's gone down to hell. You can raise your down. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Nick! Justice, yeah, justice will win. No, okay. Yeah, oh. sorry. We got it, we got it. Oh, man. Getting into semifinals already. Yeah, essentially what I can tell is going on here, and this is what I was expecting to kind of happen, but Jitsu doesn't really have a lot of zoning tools or a lot of ways to deal with zoning. So with Kinshi being full screen, he can't really deal with it. That's the only thing he can do. Yes, it is. This is the only thing that he can do is do the EX flying kick, and it doesn't, you don't get anything off of it whatsoever. Bo Jitsu is so strong up front, but, but anywhere full screen? the screen, no. <laughs> He's got a really good anti air projectile, if that counts. <laughs> right, but from here on out, like, there's not, Man, the air, there's not a lot you can do. Arrows don't make much of a difference either, unfortunately. Nope. It looks like we're switching characters right now. Uh, I know I know. Black Ken has a pocket uh, Inferno Scorpion. So that's probably what's going to end up happening. Yeah, it looks like that's what we're going to be seeing here. Yep, my guess is he's going to try to cancel it. Cancel, uh, he's going to try to, sorry, punish full screen with teleport and then try to combo oh, afterwards. Really. Kenshi doesn't have too many options against Scorpion. A lot of characters don't actually have too many options no. against Scorpion. Especially Inferno. Inferno's such a strong it really, it, it really is. All right, let's see how we get off here. Nice instant meter, got the overhead, teleport combos, dropped it though. He did drop the teleport combo, there it is. There we go, big damage. Really big, almost 30%. Oh, he's getting higher? Ah, oh, misses it. That was a really good block on Nikki's part with the overhead. Nikki's got to know though, he can't use that zoning anymore because Scorpion has such a fast teleport, and especially with EX teleport. Exactly. He doesn't have many zoning options anymore. He's got to play an up close game. And if he tries to use that shadow drop, he doesn't have many options and he's going to get grabbed from below. That's, that's exactly right. You're completely correct. Inferno Scorpion, strongest characters in the game right here, and he's really showing it off. Yeah. Hot. Nice jump right there. He's taking the wake up, but Flawless. didn't really matter. There we go, Nikki. No flawless right now. A little biased. AJ fixing the life bars for everybody here. Oh, breaker. That's going to be his last shot for this round. But one more hit and it's all over. Yep, it's done. Hit him with a really nice anti-air uppercut. Nikki's going to have to make some really good adjustments and here. He's sticking with it. He's sticking with it. I don't. It's probably not a good choice, but. That's all he's got. Oh, he got the nice meter right there. Nice grab. Nikki has to out fundamental him in this. Nikki has great NRS fundamentals. That's where Terrence, not as much. I think that Which, what he needs to do here, and this is what a lot of players do against Inferno Scorpions, they need to bait, teleport, and punish with either an uppercut or a combo meter. Right. Like that right there. He's learning. He's learning. Because he doesn't have, he doesn't really have like a good, a good starter to teleport, and he doesn't have an overhead starter. Well, he has, he has the one overhead, but you can, you can. You can react to that. It's yeah, I think it's like 12 or 14 frames, so it's definitely slow enough to react to. The problem here is though, yeah, he got, he got that round. He's got that round. Doing good, man. The problem that Kenshi's got though is that Kenshi's main game is all, especially balance, is all about keeping the opponent where he wants them. But Scorpion, with that super fast teleport, is not going to let that happen. What? Block plays Kenshi, right? Yeah. Another nice teleport combo, getting that. Here we go. Gonna be about 30%. He's gonna go for the reset. He does, but he misses it. Drops the combo, though. Don't punish that. Got, oh, that was breaker. a good breaker. That was a good smart breaker. breaker. That's a very smart breaker. Got the grab. Yes, oh, he dropped that. That was a very. Nicky needs to learn how to block low against that. Safe moves. Safe moves. Great blocking right here. Oh, you can ex throws to get a 50-50. It always puts you at an advantage on frames. Yep. So when oh, a meter gets trades the uppercut. Yeah. That's an overhead. Right here. Overhead. Hey, what's the count? Uh, one, one. One, one, final round. Two. Two out of three. Tried zoning. He's got to learn that zoning is not going to work against Scorpion. 
Black Kin, though, very unusual for Inferno Scorpion. He's not going for the grab very much here. Hell Hands are not being used too much. No, they're not. That'd be a very strong tool against Kenshi. Kenshi has no options against Hell Hands except the that block. That was a very good breaker. Both players. There we go. Bait out the teleport. That's all I got to do. There we go. There we go. Baited it, but he got hit. That's all I got. This could kill if he gets the reset. If he does the correct, yeah, definitely. It's going to be a 50-50. Oh, he blocked it. Very good block. Sit right here. Running full screen. Oh, one hit's going to kill either player. Sit. That was a very good match. Very good match. Very good match. Very good match. Nikki made some very good adjustments to that. Scorp Inferno Scorpion is a very, very, very strong character, regardless. Inferno, seriously up there in the top five. He has so many tools against every character in the cast, every variation. I'm surprised, though, he wasn't using very many hell hands. He wasn't. He wasn't. And it's weird because, I mean, Nikki wasn't blocking low very often, so he should have been. He should have just been doing oh, it. definitely. Especially full screen. As much, oh, as, he, yeah. as much as he was trying to use the overhead, yeah. he should have, honestly, in my opinion, he should have spammed hell hands. Oh, yeah. Tell, so Absolutely. Could, and so he could force him to get in and then just teleport. That's all he had to do. Yeah. Luckily, he, though, he didn't play like a scumbag. <laughs> no, that's true. That's true. So who's up next? Um... Up next on screen for MKX, can I get MKL in stack? Omaha team kill, it's uh, going to be probably either, it's probably going to be Heavy Weapons Jax versus uh, War God. Uh, MKL plays the same character I do, I play uh, War God Colocon. Very, very good character, everything everything is safe. It's very hard to punish any of his moves. Oh, I know. I know. <laughs> Yeah, I, I would have entered in today, but unfortunately it's PS4 only. I play yeah. I play uh, Xbox One pad. I, I get up. Yeah, I, I actually play. I've been experimenting a lot with Liu Kang and Jason, but yeah. so far the character I'm most comfortable with is Dragon Fang Goro. Yeah. That EX spin. Very good game. Very good character. I think EX very spin into punch, 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 grab, 36 damage raw. That's good. That's very good. That's very good. Anywhere on the screen. In the corner, you can get up to 42% with one. That's meter. real good. And it, it has armor. So. Yeah, exactly. Looks like we're getting set up here for a semifinals match. I think he's going to play Heavy Weapons Jack. Uh, this is the gentleman who actually put me into losers, not the Cold Con player, but the other one. Uh, essentially, what he did is he played Heavy Weapons, Heavy Weapons Jack's trying to zone me out. Mm -hmm. and, yes, I am. And <laughs> <laughs> I am feeling very good with the money match. And, uh, and then he switched to Sonya. Unfortunately, I've never played against a Sonya. Sonya has a very, very fast overhead low overhead string, which you can combo after. It's a very, <laughs> very good string. Man, I feel like... And unfortunately, Colocon doesn't have a ton of answers to it. MKL, they, these guys play quite often uh, up in Omaha and up in Nebraska, so I kind of want to see what his answers are, because if he knocks me to lose, I have to play him again. <laughs> I, I, I want to make sure I know what I'm doing, you know? I get I got you, I got you. Yeah, I feel like every character in this game, though, so many combos on so many characters, and the, every combo works on everybody. So yeah. much damage just right off the bat, and if you don't have breaker, meter is so important in this game. But oh, a lot yeah. of characters, though, a lot of characters, though, the problem is to get that like 50, 60 percent damage, you have to use some of that meter. And Kotal Khan, especially, I know, what is it, Sun God? Sun God uses up more meter than Sun God any other uses. Character. A ton of meter. The yeah. the main thing with, with that though is I don't think Sun God's that good of a character. That's just me though, personally. It's probably telling that the only Sun God I've ever run into ever was uh, Ricky Ortiz on live yeah. stream. <laughs> nice. <laughs> only one I've ever run into, and that was day one. And I mean, he seemed like I mean, crap then. I, I mean, Ultra, D Ultra David <laughs> figured out, you know, with our with Blood God, all the really cool like 100% combos or whatever. 100% really. But there's there's so much you have to do to get that set up. It's oh, not worth it. Yeah, you have to have three meter. You have to have damage totem, and you have to do his little angry scar. Uh -huh. It's not worth it. There's way too much to set up for it. It's not worth it. And if they have breaker, you know, what are you gonna do? Exactly. <laughs> I think they're uh, button checking. Yeah. Well, they had to. They had to. They had to select uh, factions and stuff again for some reason. Yeah. It's it's taking up so much time, man. Uh, Wimmer, Wimmer's, winner's semifinals coming up, though. Button check? Is it a button check? Good job. No, not a button check. Not a button check. They are, they are doing this. 
Ooh, Sub Zero slide is such a good move, and Grandmaster, just like in Forno Scorpion, that is that is unblockable. Right one there. of the single most powerful characters in the game. That statue makes everything so safe. Best best wake up move in the game, in my opinion, is oh. EX EX overhead sword. It's zero on block. It hits overhead, and you get a full combo afterwards. I, I can see that. And you get meter, and it, or not, and you get meter, and it has armor. Uh, personally, I think that Liu Kang's EX, uh, I believe it's his Dragon's Breath, where he gets the double kick, the EX uh -huh. double kick. That's also very strong. Puts you in the air, just uh -huh. barely though. So when low attacks don't work, and you get hit armor, hits twice, breaks armor. Really, really, really fast move. Another really nice combo here in the corner. There Knocks him right back in, 34%. Very nice. Gets the run, trying to keep that pressure on there. This is where Grandmaster Scorpion uh, Pew really Pew, shines. I don't know if it's Robbie or Ryan. Um, he plays Bojitsu Kung Jin, who's the best character in the game. He got a couple of nerfs, but... Um, yeah. Um, I, I have matchup I have matchup knowledge for it, so I'm, I'm ready. Bojitsu Kung Jin actually had the damage nerf, didn't he? Yes, he did. Yeah, all of his moves now scale differently. Both, oh, misses that throw tech. That he should, I don't think he should have thrown because he hit. He shouldn't have blocked. He because he hit. He should have just co comboed after it. Hi, Robbie. Missing you here. Uh, MKL. Makes me very happy. Switch to watch to Sonya. Yep. This is actually the matchup knowledge that I want to know of. Because the Staff is the character who is the dude who put me into losers. So this is this is the only character I don't feel comfortable against. Huh. <laughs> That's what I want to hear. <laughs> that I miss you or that I'm ready to uh, win. I never got my ma my watch back. Actually, still waiting. Opening up 27%. Very good. Putting some pressure on there. Kotal Khan. Not too many answers from full screen. Not, he's, nice not, command, he's not punishing that correctly. This war god and I could have a lot of nice conversations because he has some of his combos are more damaging in mine, but I think my setups are a little bit better than his. Both characters, though, not doing anything small damage wise. They are no, going. No, they in. are not. Yes, they are. We haven't seen a single combo below 27% in this match. Another throw tech. Let's, right see, what his, here. let's see what his corner setup is. If you can get one He's combo. gonna run, get on the other side, throw, if you jump throw, there one we go, the classic. One combo's gonna kill, one combo's gonna kill, and he doesn't have enough meter to break it. There it is! There we go, this That's is it. it! Round one to MKL. Not trying to be biased, but, you know, it's my character, I kinda love him. <laughs> no, Sonya has a very, very good um, overhead, low overhead. Like I said, it's like six frames, which, the way that Arturo likes to explain it is six frames in an NRS game is very similar to like three or four frames in a Capcom game. I see. Yeah. <laughs> Honestly, Man, I've been playing so much Killer Instinct and Mortal Kombat X right now, but I've yet to learn so much about MKX. <laughs> so much meter. It's so much. It's just a meter it, game, man. Yeah, it really is, dude. If you have meter, you get armor and this everything. This looks like it's going to be MKL's up. game, though. It does. I he think can it's... hit him once. Yep, yeah, there it is. It. One Did the sun beam. Over there it is. Sun. Very good convincing job, Mike. match. Very good job by Mikey on uh, MKL. Is be going into losers. Oh, giving him the hug. The tight squeeze vitality, one of my favorites in the game. Bro hug, though, showing some respect. Remember to desync your controllers, please. Thank you. Except the one that I already had plugged in there. You want to do a boxing game? Rob over there is playing some Monster Hunter. I guess it's a fighting game, technically. Also, thank you, Pew Pew. It's my first time actually getting to commentate. Oh, the Dutch boxing dick over there, Mike. <laughs> I don't know about Ann over here. <laughs> Want to do BZ and Star Ocean on stream? Okay. Uh, Pirate and Severn, I guess. All right. Looks like we're finding some more players to get set up here right now. Oh, man. Are there any confirmed money matches up for MKX after stream? Uh, I'm tournament round. I'm playing Terrence for hundred dollars. Oh boy! <laughs> <laughs> well, I'm glad I asked. <laughs> yeah, it's the final thing of the uh, of the tournament. Nice, nice. Yep. Uh, Tekken, Tekken's on stream after this, right? Yes, yes. Huh? Yes, it is. Tekken's about halfway through it. Yeah, I'm gonna be doing uh, Killer Instinct money matches later on. 
Probably not on stream. Not enough people care about KI, unfortunately. Uh, that seems we don't live true. in New York. <laughs> I have no idea. Apparently. Uh, I think it's some rando, to be honest with you. I, he's never showed up to one of my hookups or anything. Looks like uh, Kill Shot versus Pirate. Pirate, a new guy, yeah, it looks really like. Not too many members. people know him around here. Uh, yeah, really bad. Kill shot though from St. Louis. Plenty of people around here know. Honestly, very familiar. <laughs> Hired a local though. Sporting the uh, Mortal Kombat 9 hat over here. Dropped a lot of combos. Just, yeah. So this will be really good. Kill shot plays um, Buzzsaw Kung, La Kung Lao. Oh boy. Kill shot Mortal Kombat hat. Yep. Buzzsaw Kung Lao. He got nerfed a little bit too. A some little bit. He does. Some of his frames got nerfed, and he can yes. no longer he can no longer properly juggle in the corner after four hits with his low hat throw. I believe no yep. longer juggles properly. That's correct. Still a very strong character. Oh, they're still a very strong character. <laughs> it's just not as strong. Uh, one of the big things that you can notice with him, uh, he doesn't have any confirms off of low. He can do low into low hat. That's like 8, 7, 8%. Uh, but it keeps you so close that you can keep doing it over and over again. It's not safe on block, but if it hits you and it keeps hitting, you can just keep doing it. Yeah, but so, But if you block high, I mean, in all honesty, I mean, I would rather take 9% and then kind of deal with it than oh, take an overhead and then take 40. Oh, definitely. <laughs> yeah. Thank Thankfully, Kung Lao is not like MK9 Kung Lao. And no, it is not. Buzzsaw yeah. is the closest thing to MK9 Kung Lao. I picked up MK9 back when it first came out when I was new to fighting games, like competitively. Yep. I was loving it, and I went online, and I stopped because there was nothing but yep. uh, Kung Lao, Melina, and... Uh, Cabal you know, and Cyrax, probably. Cabal. Yeah, yep. Cabal. Not really. Cyrax... Uh, I played, uh, yeah, I, I will much. unfortunately admit that I did play Cabal in MK9. Gas Blast. Perfect. What's up? What's up? I mean, if you want to. Alright, All right, I'm getting tagged out, guys. Sorry. Uh, if you guys appreciate my commentary, let us know. Uh, Ant KC's going to come in with Justice. I'll see you guys later. Hey, I'm match, Thank you. Don't bring your control. I am still in the bracket. Is this your controller? Yes, thank you very much. I'm going to run and grab some water real quick, and I will be right back. Oh, all right. Leave me all by myself. That's I all right. <laughs> What's up, everybody? Uh, Aunt KC? Uh, haven't done too well myself, but we'll see if we can uh, commentate the rest of these matches here. Like a flash, I bet. Did you play in the tournament today? I did. I didn't do too well. In fact, I lost to uh, Pyro oh, here. Kill shot. Aaron Black outlaw. This is actually this is an even matchup, if not in favor of uh, Aaron over here. Aaron hits like a truck. So many mix-ups. I'm not sure. He's starting it off very strongly. So much damage off a one hit confirmed standing. Doesn't even need juggles. Pirate oh, though, not Pirate not doing too much though with his projectiles. He should be trying to zone him out a little bit more. This variation of Aaron only has uh, one projectile, and it's a sand bomb, and it's very slow to start up. So Pirate, although taking the first round, should probably start to be just a little bit more careful with his spacing. Names are switched. Sorry, oh. we'll fix it. <laughs> Kill shot. Uh, I mean, and I myself, be a little bit more I just played pirate in tournament, and um, he's pretty good. Uh, he he definitely knows the the fundamentals of outlaw Aaron Black. Nothing nothing too fancy, but it, it was enough to take me out. Oh, very smart breaker. Uh, Aaron sitting on a full bar here. Uh, if I were him, bar. I'd probably get out of this. It's all right. Now. Competitively, you won't see too many X-ray moves, but Aaron Black has. It's worth it. One, one, one of the three best X-ray moves, in my opinion. Yep, I agree. Very good damage. Tracks the opponent. Projectile right, hits low. Shot. Starts Kill up shot. very fast. As soon as we got here today, and I saw people running casuals, uh, I was watching Kill Shot, and I knew he'd be uh, somebody to keep an eye on for sure. Oh, definitely. He's taking it very convincingly, actually. Absolutely. Pirates going in, but. He's not hitting quite too many uh, mix-ups as he'd like to. He's getting a lot of overheads, but that overhead does not lead to many or too much no, damage. That slide, that slide is very smart. Even on block, EX, though. it's not safe. That's what he needed. 
Very good damage. Yeah, put himself in the corner, unfortunately. That's going to hurt. Doesn't go for another juggle, though. We could have gotten another rep off of that. If I were Pirate, I'd try to... Yeah, he's, he's being smart about it, but if I were Pirate, I'd go for a uh, stab. Yep. Does a very healthy amount of damage. Bleeds the opponent. Very nice overhead. Armor, smart, but he had the meter to break it. Does not get much off of it. Kill shot being very smart about those teleports, though. He's not spamming grab like you see a lot of other characters, or players, rather. Well, I do know that um, St. Louis has their, their share of the air and black players, so oh. this matchup may be a little more familiar for kill shot, but it is pirate. Aaron Black's getting a whole lot more popular now, though, after some new tech was found Absolutely. with him. Absolutely. I, might, I myself play his gunslinger variation. He was the first yep. character I ever picked up. Yep. But uh, Outlaw, I don't like Outlaw too much because I like to zone a bit more, but Outlaw sure. is just so strong. Well, it, it changes the character completely almost, you know. Oh, taking that round right there. He's keeping him on his toes. A whole lot of mix-ups here. Pirate has to win this round or else he's going to go out of the tournament here. Oh, got the grab. Uh, basically what you're going to be looking out for, Kung Lao, very smart with dive kicks, very smart with teleport. Aaron Black hits like a kick. That's what I'm saying now. One thing else, I'll go. Aaron Black is my type of character. All the buttons being hit. I'm telling you, you'd like this game. Oh, got the command grab. One hit and he's dead. There we go. All right. Whoever wins this carries on. He says it's from Kansas City. I don't know if I've seen him before. Hey, Pirate, you from Kansas City? It's Pirate. Kansas City? Nice. You should come out more. Glad you're here. Keep playing. I will now be rooting for you. Let's go, Pirate. You are now in the family. Oh, dive kick. Doesn't do much damage from that far on the screen. I was doing a really good job of using that EX, EX dust uh, on my jump ins when I played him. Saving the meter, making sure I couldn't get anything off my jump ins. The problem is, though, Buzz saw Kung Lao so fast, so many options, no matter where he is on the screen. Every combo he has is at least 21% damage. And they add up. They certainly add up. He's not going to get a whole lot more than maybe high 20s, but Definitely. they add up. But I wouldn't have used that meter right there because that low of health and only the first round, I mean, as you can see right there. He needs to try and put him in the corner and trap him with cow drops. Oh, very nice. Trying to zone him out a little bit. Caught him on the teleport. There, Another there thing, it is sand, again. good. Yep. Yes, sand. Oh, drops it, but he somehow still gets it. <laughs> Another dive kick set up, so much damage. Getting a little happy on wake up. There hey, I like the counter, Bart. Let's go. Yep. There you go. Another command, command grab. Like That's command grab, right? Yes. yes it is. Uh, oh my god, he's my type of hero. And in Mortal Kombat 9, command grabs grab out of the air and during combos. Nice. All right, so he needs this hit right here. There yes. we go. Final round of losers. All right, Pirate. Trying to avoid the uh, biased commentary, but it's good to see a Kansas City a Kansas City guy <laughs> repping. I like it. Man, half of everybody from here is Kansas City. Well, <laughs> I'll take it. Oh, he let himself get no, hit so he wouldn't get hit by that command no, grab. That was actually very smart. Ooh. Got hit right there, though. The oh. Aaron and Black, not too guy. much damage, but hey, over now. Let's go, Pirate. damn Let's go good home, combo. Pirate. There we go, another slide. Let's take it home, Pirate. This could be it right here. Let's go, Pirate. Oh, oh. drops it. All he needs is one hit. Oh, I was going to say, keep an eye out for the teleport. Kill shot, though, with that Kung Lao can build up damage so quick. Oh, baited it. He's still not coming back. Your boy not Jumps. coming back. Nowhere near having a break. There we go, it's over. All right. Your boy's not coming Pirate from Kansas Pirate. City moves on. Love Kill it. shot, unfortunately, knocked out of the tournament. There we go. Very good matchup Kansas from both City. players right there. About? I don't even know him. First time I met him. Good <laughs> shit, man. Took me out of the tournament, and I'm still here rooting for him. I like it. <laughs> I'm glad to see an Aaron Black player make it this far. <laughs> no, Aaron Black's a uh, really fun, really fun character. Uh, I don't think he'd fit my play style, so I haven't gotten too much into him. But I feel you. Is that Red? Hey, Red. <laughs> You've got fans. Oh, nice. 
Ant, how do you feel about the money match after the tournament? Uh, to be honest with you, coming into it, um, I haven't played a whole lot with Jeremy. Oh. And I have been playing Black Ken online a little bit, and I would have heavily favored him. Uh, Jeremy's looking good right now, so we'll, we'll see. <laughs> he sounded very confident about and it. And he does have a whole lot of confidence on uh, his side. $100. <laughs> you better have confidence. Um, now that everybody knows. I may make some out. investments of my own once it comes to that time, but uh, it'll be exciting nonetheless. We'll see. Hey, you can't say that to him. He runs tournaments. He keeps the scene alive in between every month. All right, one of Kansas City's top-tier drinkers coming to the stage now. Oh, boy. Hopefully he'll be able to still play being drunk. No, no there, there's a very fine line with Boxy and his uh, alcohol intake and it being the best player he could ever be. And, uh, and after that, it kind of falls off a little bit, but I think he's right there today. I don't know. I've seen him carrying around three different kinds of liquor today. So. <laughs> Still a lot of confidence in him. I mean, he's made it this far. Let's be real. <laughs> yeah, there are a couple, uh, couple be fine. people in this scene that take the, the social aspect of the tournament uh, a little higher than the gameplay stuff. And Rob. Rob's a good yeah, example. You know, maybe have a couple beers before your first match. I mean, Rob's been sitting there. I mean, social aspect, you want to talk about it? Look, he's been playing his 3DS on stream the entire time. There you go. <laughs> yeah. I didn't say anti-social. <laughs> it's like button check here. And uh, I have to give props to uh, Boxbro here. He, he went against the full auto Jackie earlier. Oh. And uh, it wasn't looking good at first. But he made some really, really smart adaptations. And, uh, Who the hell brought a full auto Jackie to the tournament? Somebody from St. Louis, I can't tell Did you. Did they get bopped? He, he bopped him. Good. In the end, he bopped him. But we don't need that shit in tournaments. Just made some really smart, <laughs> smart decisions. And uh, I know he's liking the game, so it's fun to see. Molina's like Rolento. Yeah, sure. We can go with that. <laughs> Kung Jin's the one with the stick, man. Come on. Uh, and he's going to be going up against Mike Webb uh, playing Cassie Cage. Uh, front runner for definitely one of the top few characters in the game. I won't say top one, two, or three, but uh, she's very good across all all variations. You got to worry about Cassie. Do you know what uh, variation he's going to be playing, or what both characters will be playing? I believe he's playing Brawler, um, and I do know for a fact that Boxy will be playing Ancestral Kung Jin. He, um, in fact, uh, a big part of his victory over that full auto Jackie was trading the stun arrow. With her zoning, so uh, she get her machine gun out. He trade a stun arrow, run in full combo. Well, yeah, looks like he's going to be going so ancestral Hollywood in Hollywood. Cage. He's going to be trying to counter zone. It looks like. Training room over there, basically double random. Nah, Rolando's not banned over here. Somebody was playing him earlier. <laughs> he's annoying, but you know, whatever. All right. All right, looks like we're getting right off. Here we go. Trying to zone early on. Oh, poke, though. Nice. Uh, names are wrong. Box is playing. Uh, Box is playing Kung Jin, ain't he? Box Bro playing Kung Jin. He's a very, uh, <clears throat> he's a momentum-based ba player, uh, both to a detriment and to a positive. If Boxy's on a roll, he'll stay on a roll. And if he, um, if he gets in his own head, it's a little tough for him to get out sometimes, so. Definitely. Um, this first set could say a whole lot about the way this goes. Very strong damage over here in the corner. He's not letting him get any space, but right there, got that dive kick. Missed the combo, but got him out of that corner. Armor dive kick, can't get anything out of it. Here we go. Shoulder charge, that's an odd setup right there. And Rex about destroyed the stream, <laughs> knocking over Rex computers. Rex about wrecked everything. All right, and this is where Cassie can be very scary at this point right here. I mean, yeah, very strong combos. Um, 49 seconds left, though. I think that's the longest Oxy's that we've gone on. He's to do whatever he can to get out of here. And uh, try, and, try and reset the neutral a little bit. Well, 
Okay. That's a good story, by the way, Red. <laughs> it's actually kind of funny. There's that stun arrow. Going for neutral okay. jump punches, very smart, but knocked him out of the corner. Mortal Kombat has a weird feature where if you neutral or forward throw in the corner, you'll actually knock your opponent out. Odd, yeah, the, but... Oh. The, uh, the throw aspect of this game, I'm still not 100% sure on. It's, it's a little wonky to me, but uh, there's definitely some weird stuff going on. I don't think anybody's sure on how <laughs> throws work in this game. They're weird. Sometimes you can grab them out of an air combo. Sometimes you can't. Wake up attack bonus like right there. Somebody's going to go to the crypt tonight. Very good neutral jump punch. Oh, knocked right out of it, though. And there he goes. That, that right there very is good the uh, crux of Boxy's game plan. He wants to get those stun arrows. You'll very re rarely see him go for either the fire or the, uh, the meter arrow. And Webb playing very smart, not even wanting. Oh, never mind. I spoke a bit too soon. Good breaker. There. He's going to talk about how not breaking. But, yeah, both players can just zone their hearts out right now. Looks like we're moving on to round two. That was a good set. That was a good set. And the stream won't be updated for a sec, but Webb took round one here. Missed the ding dong. Missed the combo. Oh, oh. Both That's players missed some weird moves right here. there. And, uh, Cassie, does, Cassie doesn't get a whole lot of damage off those mid screen combos, but um, they're very easy to convert to. Definitely. Webb, though, Webb. Very odd. He's not going for super high damage. Cassie can get upwards of 45% with one meter, but he's really not going for it, which is kind of odd. It may be a little main, main stage nerves, run combos, you know. Well, well against as, a, as I say that. Against an ancestral. Good block. Against ancestral Kung Jin, though. And he'll load an arrow here. There it is. And I do not know how round. arrows carry over. Web one. Through the old lady, poor Mildred. It's Blanche. Blanche? I'm sorry, it's Blanche. Blanche. <laughs> I'm sorry. <laughs> and Blanche actually in the near, uh, the newest update has her own brutality. Really? Yes. Nice. I only know about the achievement. <laughs> Both players getting some good damage in here, nearing 50% each. Box Bro has the ability to actually run away right now. He does. He used, I think he used his back dash. Okay, he's got a stamina meter back now. Cassie Cage has an okay standing projectile and an okay jumping, but... Uh, the one thing that doesn't make hers better than okay is even on a EX, oh. her, her, Web her takes projectiles it, though. still hit high. We're going to get so, a selfie? No, we are not. Uh, you can always duck Cassie's gunshots, unlike a lot of the characters in the game. Fox Bro, though. If only he didn't drink so much, he'd probably win. Let's be real. <laughs> Good show, man. Winners finals up on stream right now. It's going to be oh boy. Black Winners finals are right. We're getting closer and closer to the big matches. Specifically, your big match. <laughs> MKL. I'm trying to think. I know I've seen him play this tournament. I, I oh, don't. he was just up. Who was he playing? I believe he was playing uh, Kumail. Oh, uh, uh, he is our other Kotokan player. <laughs> Sorry, I was thinking a bit. Not far enough back. <laughs> yeah, he was playing uh, War God. He is playing the same uh, same character, same variation as our own uh, hometown Jeremy Yon. And uh, obviously doing pretty well to get this far. Jeremy was talking about needing to learn some tech. From what I've heard, though, from Jeremy, very, very, very solid Kotal Khan. Yes. From what I saw, it yeah, is, uh, it sounds about right. <laughs> it says... It's a scary character. There's a there's a few characters I've uh, delved deep into and I know quite a lot about in this game, but Kotal Khan is at the bottom of that list. Yeah, definitely. <laughs> and any character, no matter how small the damage, if they can cause damage while you're blocking or doing nothing, you know, they're scary. Absolutely. <laughs> Especially in the corner. And he will be up. Okay. This should be a, this should be a great match. Um, Terrence does have uh, Scorpion on deck. We just saw him pull it out against Nikki, um, but absolutely maining Kung, Kung Jin there. So, Kotal Khan versus Inferno Scorpion. Um, I'm thinking Kotal Khan has very strong armored normals, or not normals. I'm sorry, armored specials. But Hell Hands. Yeah, really, I, uh, really good move. He can I, spam Hell Hands. I've recently picked up uh, Inferno Scorpion because why not? And <laughs> yeah, why not? <laughs> 
I think it could do pretty well against um, Kodal. I really do. Looks like we're stuck on the button check. Players trying to get their six synced up right now. Getting it all ready here. Somebody desynced one of the controllers. Well, shout outs to uh, MKX on PS4. To be honest, we have not had any any controller issues, any desyncs, any of that weird stuff. Um, and I forget the gentleman's name, but somebody from St. Louis has been watching our back and making sure that does not happen. Um, it is a pain in the ass, though. That yeah. being said, I do not like it. If it wasn't for PS4, I could have won this whole tournament. Well, and I'm sure that's true. <laughs> I'm a man after my own heart. Yeah. You're on Xbox, right? Oh, yeah, I'm on Xbox. Like I said, I've been playing nothing but KI all day. I got put up against really good players right at the start of the Ultra Tournament and got okay. bopped immediately. Usually I at least make it semi-finals, but no, not today. <laughs> And it looks like they're setting up their buttons now after getting the controller fixed here. That's a legacy controller issue, ain't it? With PS4? Yeah, the for, for the most, oh. yes, but... They unplugged my controller, but back then it wasn't supposed Yes, but for the most part, the uh, while we do appreciate what NRS did with the Skullgirls uh, driver, it does cause problems um, when, it do when it comes down to actually using it. Uh, Definitely. I still say it's worth it. It's great to have. I haven't had to buy a new stick, but uh, the legacy controller certainly seems to be the problem. By the way, pew pew. That was a bad pun. <laughs> pew pew. Bad pun. Oh, bad pun. I forget the chats in front of us. There we go. <laughs> Is this our stream broadcast? Yeah. Oh, so I, I just didn't know. Yeah. Right now they're looking at. Got it, okay. AJ, we've got a song request, AJ. I don't know. No, 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 the chat's not set up to do that. <laughs> we we going to install Nightbot, AJ? <laughs> uh, I don't know about that. So do we do, uh, what's our viewer count? Do we know anybody in the chat? I. Oh. I've just now, 41. look at that, 41. That's pretty nice. Unfortunately, probably uh, 20 of those people could have come to this tournament. Yeah. <laughs> the hell are you guys at? Come on. Give us more money. <laughs> All right. Starting off right now. Oh. Wow. That was quick. And another breaker. So all that meter's gone. Players about oh, even on I'm, meter. I'm excited. I, I, I'm, I'm doing my best to learn this game, but watching two characters I don't know a whole lot about is still super fun for me. Uh, all you need to know about uh, War God is uh, he's armor. got the sawfish yes. and armor. The paddle, I believe. And all you need to know about Bojutsu is that up until yesterday, he was the single best character in the game. Now he's maybe in top five. <laughs> uh, I wouldn't put, yeah, top three, I'm sure. Uh, I am interested. I, I didn't look over to those patch notes too much, but it seems like Melina, Katana, and maybe even Goro got some necessary and uh, some stuff we'll have to see play out. Uh, Goro, not too much, but Melina definitely. He got a lot of damage there right off that dive kick. Oh, very smart Annie here. And that was, that was a hard read right there. 29 damage puts him really far over to the right side of the screen, but he's knocking him right back over. Looking you can at see right here, 31, 32%. Jeez, you can see what that patch did, though. That combo used to do upwards of 50% damage. I believe damage. it was 42% free patch. Really? Yes. Whoa. Man. Thank God for damage scaling. Also a good thing that, that we don't have... Be safe. Oh, very good. Also a good thing that we don't have too many Ermac players here, or else that damage scaling would have kind of broken the whole tournament. Yes. <laughs> uh, we don't... <laughs> Both players won round up. Oh, Jesus. Something that you got to remember about MKX, though, all moves do chip damage, even normals. Absolutely. Blocking or not, that will knock you out. There is no cheese protection, and you cannot out-zone yes. Kun Jin with uh, Kotal Khan. It ain't going to happen. Oh, just keep doing it. If it works, keep doing it. Throw tech, Throw tech right there. Kun Jin, such damage. a powerful character, just nonstop rush down. And it looks like he might take it. Just needs one hit, and it's over. It is. When in doubt, use the bow. Good stuff. Looks like we're moving on. Sorry, who that one? Black Ken. MKL, though, hit a very convincing first round. Let's see if we can keep it up. Oh, Kotal Khan. Uh, 
uh, before this game was released, Kotokan seemed like a really interesting character to me, but once, yes. I, once I hit training mode, it just didn't did not seem to fit. He's all about hitting hard, man. He's all about hitting hard. Ooh, getting him up. Here we go. Just need one hit. He could actually have thrown the paddle at him. Yep. That would have been one of the one. Oh, yep, punch him in the balls. There you go. Close yeah. it out. That would have been one of the one times that that paddle's safe. Players feeling each other out a little bit. Ooh. Dropped the combo there. He hit him low, but he couldn't carry it out. Lots of back and forth. Ooh, very good mix-ups here. He's not getting it quite, but he's trying. He's changing up his game every time he goes in, though. Oh, misses that. That's a good read. That's a terrible, terrible waste of meter, unfortunately. He's going for overhead. He's got a nice throw here. Yeah, throw sometimes just uh, resets the pace, if anything. Gets you 12% damage and Almost it gets definitely. you to new mind state. And there's the paddle. Oh, he's like trying that. to fake him out there, yeah. switching over to the like other to side. See some armor here. Oh, oh. Hey, good there we go. Very smart play. That was a good set. I felt like that was a missed opportunity to just call down a ray of light, but whatever. Either way works, he won it. MKL. I will have to say, uh, Kung Jin's primary costume is probably my least favorite in the game. Oh, definitely. Shadow also <laughs> sucks. Shadow's uh, way better than this. Ah. Oh, and here we go. Very good damage here. Oh, misses that EX. Despite the fact that that paddle goes all the way behind him, it does not hit until it goes right over his head. Yep. And he Very good damage. Oh, he's turning it around really out. quick. MKL might take this. It's what it's looking like. Black can uh, sit on a meter advantage as well. All right. MKL won. Missed another uppercut there. Those are very hard to hit. Require extremely precise timing, but it's been very That's consistent with it. Okay, same thing. Okay. Oh, man. This is Mortal Kombat. Uh, this is competitive Mortal Kombat, man. <laughs> Oh, very good. Use that breaker. That's so smart. One hit and it's over. He could zone. Put himself in a bit of a bad position, but even one hit blocked will kill. And it's done. Going into the final round of winner's finals here. Oh, I'm sorry. Oh, it is? Oh, I'm sorry. I thought it was best two out of three. My apologies. Another dive kick setup right there. Very good damage. 26. Meterless 26%. Get him out of the corner. Not bad. Kung Jin, man. And there we go. Finally some use of armor. Oh. Good stuff. I'm not sure if that was a down one or standing. I'm not sure if that was intentional. <laughs> yeah, either way. <laughs> Very healthy damage right there. Kung Jin just gets so oh, much off of one hit. Airborne so scary. Yeah, that's it breaker. right there. Hey, that was a great set. Moving on to the next match. Very good set. Both characters sticking, or I'm both, sorry, both players sticking with their characters. So far, though, we haven't seen very many, uh, uh, what is it, stage interactions. Ter Terrence throwing some, uh, some arrows right off the bat. I bet if he would, I bet if he sat back and did it, the zoning could be pretty viable. Oh, most definitely. The uh, paddle sucks. <laughs> yeah, yeah, we haven't seen much of it, but uh, uh, it does, I believe, 14% damage on one hit. But you know, good luck hitting it. Right. <laughs> Although he has been using arrows at point blank range, that's actually very safe against Cole Colin. Yep. He doesn't have too many options. MKL though, very, very strong going into the first rounds of each match, but he seems to drop the ball just a little bit, but. Right. It's a nice hit right there. Kale taking that Carrying one. on. He's not going to go down without a fight. We'll see what happens in this round. Just very good damage. He needs to watch out just about every single starting. He's been jumping up and doing that neutral jump punch. It's very, very strong. Guaranteed so much damage. Clean punish. There we go. Yeah. Well, 30. Oh, throw is it with the throw. I haven't seen too many of those today. Nice reset. And this looks like it'll be the end of the round. Yep. All right. All right. All, MKL is fighting for his tournament right now life. All this is right for Black Ken is uh, training for his inevitable money match later in the evening. Oh. 
Uh, I Definitely. would say that Jin Jeremy and MKL are two different types of Kotokan players, but um, he's certainly getting some good knowledge here. Oh, very smart block. Yeah, neutral jump two. Oh, okay. there we go. Got some good damage right there. Not too much, but it's healthy. Puts him in a reset. He seems to be going to that neutral Ooh. jump a lot. After Tried to throw jump. tech, but he awake, woke up with armor. One more combo. It's going to end the game here. Very strong. Oh, and there you go. This could be it. That's it. How about that? Black Ken moving on. MKL going into losers. Very good match. And uh, we haven't seen the last of them. Very, very strong players. To be honest, I'd like to see them go into grand. Get, getting some booze from the crowd. Not everybody like that. Um, Kung Jin, certainly not the people's favorite. But, oh, hell no. Uh, <laughs> yeah, it nope. is what it is right now. So Just like Kami, nobody but uh, Kung Jin players like Kung Jin. Sure. Kind of like Grandmaster, Sub-Zero, and uh, Inferno Scorpion. Nobody but people who play those characters like those characters. Right. I, hey, I'm, I'm picking up Inferno Scorpion. And You're disgusted. Don't lump me in with him. You're losing respect for me. The end goal will be to learn Hellfire. <laughs> Hellfire looks like in the long game it'll be Scorpion's best variation. But. Hellfire, the move itself looks very, very strong in MK9. Yes. MKX, though, it's no longer unblockable. Yes. So, yeah. um, you can still do a hell of a lot of setups with it, don't you? If you wrong. happen to catch them, you're doing a lot more damage than you would in any other variation. I the believe that. has got great damage. Um, you can then reactivate Aura into some safe chip, up, safe chip setup for about 16% more damage. Uh, looks like uh, winner right now is Black Kin, and uh, you want to look over at Chalones real quick, take a look who's up. I am. Uh, looks like uh, it's going to be Black Ken versus whoever wins this and beats Nikki or Nikki moves on. It's like and uh, trying to avoid um, uh, biased commentary, but I am proud of Nikki. Glad to see her make it this far. She's got great NRS fundamentals, and it's it showed. Um, oh, definitely. I know she hasn't been grinding the game like a lot of us have. It's just... Kind of ingrained, so. Uh, Cammy's ass is too skinny, huh? That's why you see her ass cheeks in every game. <laughs> Great commentary, okay. Hey, hey, you have a match main stage, main uh oh, somebody's a little late to the party. Oh, still waiting. Still waiting. Waiting it out. Are we out of focus? There it is. Now we're back. It's an HP webcam. <laughs> 720p. What's that? <laughs> uh, Mortal Kombat X, uh, as far as I can tell, I mean, the game kind of blew up in popularity. No idea why. Uh, probably because it's so mainstream, but... It brought probably 30 new people here today, and it's going to be run every month, definitely. Oh, yeah, it's going to be here next month. Um, I know Braille Watson, he's been doing a thing called Mega Cake. I believe it's out somewhere in Kansas. I believe it's about an hour away from uh, Kansas City, but it, it's all Smash Brothers and Mortal Kombat X and Skullgirls. Oh, how do I feel about playing Expo on D-pad? Fuck, I don't play D-pad, man. I play with the thumbstick. I'm unique, son. Felicia is my waifu. Is that, uh, is that Sam? Sam, are you in the chat? <laughs> also, my name's Justice. I've never done commentary. I don't know how this uh, delay works. Am I going to get an answer oh, in a minute? That, that's instant. We get an instant. Okay. Um, videos delayed out, I believe, by about 30 okay. seconds, unless they're running it on source. Yeah, uh... Yeah, if you guys haven't uh, been able to tell already, I have never once been on the mic for commentary. I haven't. I either. just really, really like this game. I've been studying up on it as much as I can. Probably should concentrate on getting better at it a little more, but. Uh, no, pew pew. No. Mortal Kombat may be casual, but it's not the most casual. <laughs> no. No, no, no. 
be honest, I think that most casual fighting game, dive kick. Although dive kick's more of a joke than anything. Hey, uh, everybody on stream, based on what you've seen, would there be any money matches or, uh, excuse me, hype matches you guys would like to see? Uh, see if maybe both parties are interested. Say Killer Instinct so I can get up on the front screen, please. <laughs> now, um, Let's keep it to uh, relevant games. <laughs> um, Slayer, we can't run it on Xbox One because uh, according to, you know, the powers that be and Evo and all that stuff. Oh, yeah, we're fine. Um, anybody going to be running the computer? You want me to do it? You want me to do it? I do not. Well, is it FF Split or X Split? It's OBS. Never run that, but I'll try. <laughs> it's, all, it's all down here. I just click it, press save, scroll down, shit. That's it. Just, yeah, update numbers, hit the save button, and you're good. All right. I get to do two duties now. Woohoo! Um, yeah, Xbox One. It'll never be run on Xbox One. Stupid Mr. reasons. Mr. K versus Geef Kid. I don't even think Mr. K is. Here. I, though, and I need to I switch over. I do not want to hear your Street Fighter bullshit. Oh, please. Oh, okay. Pretty please. Thank you. Switch spots. Let's see here. Who is running right now? I gotta fix this. Uh, looks like Persona just started. I need to go back and wake up with this. So I'm not gonna be doing much commentating for a minute. Do you mind? Mike Webb for Mortal Kombat. Jin Jeremy and Mike Webb. Boxy will jump on for a match if you need to do that. Is Boxy, is Boxy free? Yeah. Boxing. Commentate real quick. I gotta fix this. All right, guys. Uh, Box Bro SG. Sean Green. All right, boys and girls. <laughs> what do we got here? We got. We've got the cheap stuff versus the cheap stuff. Oh my god. All right, so we got Wraith on Shaolin Kung Jin. Doesn't ex. It doesn't make a save. No punish. Staff going for going the. Going for the uh, overhead. Counter. Good break. Sonya, a character that really does not rely this very will, much on meter. Wow, at all. doesn't do a con <laughs> all right. Doesn't do the good stuff. And this should end it with dive kick. Oh, the break. And the EX Shuriken to finish it off. So, you know, you actually assert like some interesting things today. We literally have every variation of Kung Chin we have. represented today. Yeah, and uh, at a fairly decent level. Mine was pretty bad. Mine was pretty bad. Let's not talk about that. Good combo into the vortex. Blocks the overhead. Does not block the low on that string, but he's not doing optimal combo, so honestly, not blocking that low. Again, blocks the overhead, but does the low shuriken. Uh, he's doing that same yeah. mid into low string, and Wraith is not two, seeing going it. Going for down two afterwards. There's definitely more he can get out of it. Yep. Not a whole lot more. So good conversion. That's going to do good damage. Sonya's usually only going to get high. High mid high twenties yeah. out of those mid screen combos, but uh, thirty eight into the vortex. Oh, ex out of it. Here you go. Goes for the low. Oh, doesn't block the overhead. Evens it up a one round apiece. That's all right. I've seen Wraith in these positions before. And, you know, yeah. Honestly, even it's a new game. He's he's got great fundamentals. Good. Oh, misses the one one conversion once again. Does neutral jump one. No punish on the lift dive kick. Only getting 23%. Wow. EX for a long raise array. Race not blocking that low. He's going to have to start blocking that low. There it is. Punish. Does not get a good punish out of it. All right. Gets the wake up. Misses the cross up a little bit. Does low shuriken to make it somewhat of a oh, mix up. in military stance. Wow. Doesn't block. Oh, this could be good damage. Gets 1-1-1 and send the dive kick. I know he wanted to do 1-1 dive kick after that. That will probably end it. First yeah. round. He's, he's missing out on a lot Stat. of damage in the corner, but he's doing a real good job. Wraith just needs to work, you know, he needs to tighten up the defense a little bit and he'll be all right. Good start. Good conversion. Rushes him. Oh, the, wow. The one time today that Wraith shakes his head on that one, man. He, he, he wanted that neutral jump, too, to hit him. Once again, still looking for the neutral. No punish on the block, but Dive still gets the high enough to be punished. Oh, he tried to try to get him in the air. Once again, gets hit by that same string. Goes low. Good break by Wraith. Wow, not safe. And that probably... Oh, that's right. So that should have ended it. 
We're not seeing real oh, optimal combos nice. out of the Sonya, but nice. she's still getting enough hits to do, get the yeah. job done. Uh, the down two, now that I think about it, he may be ending those down twos to uh, increase the distance between them after the combo. He, he doesn't want to be in bow range. True, but do you really want to try to get into a arranged match versus a Kung Jin, especially a Shaolin? I mean, this isn't Bo Jitsu. He doesn't have to be in your face. True. Punish! No punish out of raid. Good avoidance of the EX grab. Keeps him in the corner. Good mix-up. Oh, Sorry. Same. Well, yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, he gets hit oh, with the dive so kick. So much time to confirm off that. It's again. Good block. Punish. Good punish. I lied. Was not good punish, but he got away with it, so. Wraith even it up in one round apiece. There we go. About even on meter here. Game's still new. People still getting the feel for their characters. Absolutely. Good conversion. I kind of disagree with that break. It's a little early, and you wouldn't have got that much damage out of it. Another great conversion. This is what makes Kung Jin so good. Any random hit come back and get you for a dive kick. Even down two. Only 27. I mean, you know, honestly, 27 is respectable. Absolutely. That's, uh, that's good block. Oh, good did not get the neutral jump there. Good block. No punish. Gets the EX. No overhead. There's a good punish. EX. And I've seen him use that this whole tournament. Off, sc off stream. Uh, very good with the uh, EX leg grab there. Oh, no. Wraith misses the Vortex, and he gets hit. He's not going to be able to break on this, and that is going to do it, folks. It's tough, folks. Uh, the game's still new. Lots of matched up knowledge to get under your belts. And well, that is the truth. You know, there's one thing about this game is that every character has some sort of low to high over, yep. like low to overhead. And You're going to have to know all the strings. And not only that, you got to know how to punish it, you know. Kung Jin's kind of lucky that his punishes really aren't that difficult. I mean, anything that causes somebody to stand, you can pretty much 1-1. One, one. With Shaolin, you can... 1-1 one, one EX Shuriken in the full combo. Ancestral, if you have an arrow loaded, you can do some stuff. Yep. Bojitsu pretty much gets whatever he wants for a nice, clean, like, 37%. So, so Wraith, that, that knocks Wraith out, I believe. It does, yes. Unfortunately. Um, so, who do we have on winner's side right now? I know Nikki is on losers. What are we looking at here for, for the brackets? We are, we are currently waiting to see who's up next on MK. I know we have at least a Bojitsu Kung Jin still in it. Obviously, we still have a Sony in it. Nikki, very truthfully saying she sucks at this game. Uh, none of us are disputing that. One of the biggest down players we have in our uh, <laughs> local community. You know, honestly, she was very good. She played MK9 at a fairly high level. And, and no, for, the, for the three or four months that MK9 was around in Kansas City, you would find Nikki's, Cyrax, uh, Cabal, all the top tier MK9. Oh, yeah. And, uh, she's, she's great at it. She's still kind of she's still kind of playing that same game. All right. Well, I don't care. I'll stay on if you. I don't care. You want to hop on? All right. Good to see everybody. I uh, I may or may not be back, but uh, Aunt KC signing out. All right. Quick swap. Oh, it's like Nikki. Nikki sitting down. Who we got playing Nikki? I'm confused. I saw that comment by the way. That's you. I'm not trying to sound condescending. I'm just kind of tired. Sorry if I sound like a bit of a douchebag. All right, so we got a KC matchup. Nikki versus Jen Jeremy. Nikki's going to be playing that Ken Sheen. Jen Jeremy, I believe, is still playing Kota Khan. I don't really know why. He was playing Quan Chi, but then Quan Chi got nerfed into the ground. And uh, after Quan Chi got nerfed, he's like, well, I guess I'm going to abandon ship. So well, he's got to do what he's got to do. Hey, you know, it's got him this far, so you can't really knock the choice. Oh, definitely. Uh, plus, you know, Kota Khan's EX, uh, his EX, uh, what is it? I don't know the notation, but it's basically the overhead into the uppercut. Strong. And it gets a real nice, like, 33% combo off of it. So, oh, you definitely. Know. Uh, it would have been nice to see Quan Chi, but, again, you know, the nerfs happen, he, unfortunately. Yeah, he changed so much. You know, Summer Quan Chi got nerfed, and then, you know, even uh, 
port what, what's the portal version? Demonic? No, nah, whatever. I think it's demonic. The, the portal version got the portal throw taken away, so everybody's kind of still scrounging for their combo enders because you couldn't end it in portal slam. So, so Nikki's gonna try to keep Jeremy out. She's gonna try to zone him. Jeremy only had once in, and then he kind of wants to stay kind of almost mid screen. He's got a nice, real strong overhead from mid screen. Just runs in. This is what Jerry wants. There it is. There's the EX and the uppercut. It's going to be the same problem. 33%. Prop Definitely. This is going to be the same problem that Nikki had last time, though. The problem uh, with Ken Chi mm. is that, you know, he's got to try and zone. Kodal Khan can get in really quickly, but he's Nikki's adapting right now. She's yeah. getting in there. Not only can he get in quickly, but he doesn't have to get in right next to you. He only needs to get in, like, mid-screen, maybe a little in mid-screen. Yeah, definitely. Enough to get the overheads. Right. But, as you see... Nikki's definitely adapting. She's, can she's she? getting in there. Concentration, wearing the headphones, even. Oh, she is concentrating. She, wa she wants none of this crowd. <laughs> Probably the first time I've seen anybody wear headphones. That's here. actually really surprising. We had, I believe the head count was over 90 here. I think we might have hit over 100 by now. Uh, 111, I think. 111. Good turnout. Definitely. Oh, Jeremy getting in there, though. Causing the bleed. Causing the bleed again? Oh. And the unblockable. Jerry, very, the very strong. Round. Convincing <laughs> round. Ooh, nice Here jump over. Comes, Put him in the corner. A, oh, oh, he doesn't finish the combo. That's okay. Gets thrown out there. of the overhead. Oh, very EX strong overhead. Comes out it. very quickly. Jeremy says, you know what? I don't care about your breaker. I'm just going to go in. This is Mortal Kombat. All you do is go in. This is what this game is. So much damage. Oh, wow. No punish oh, on the whip. Very too. smart blocking. Good throw break. Whiffs the shoulder charge. Getting some damage in, though. Keeping him in the and corner. And there's the X again. He's going to have to make it? his count. Nope. It's not going to end quite. it. Not quite. He can still lose this. He can take it. Or she can take it, rather. And uh, the unblockable to finish it off. I was assuming that was going to come out. I mean, Kenshi doesn't have a real good answer to the unblockable. No. You basically have to jump it, but Kenshi's not going to get in on a jump, so who cares? What's up, guys? See Raids standing in the background, Nick Sharko. Of course. Oh, we got. <laughs> Looks Don't like maybe they didn't do the proper button check beforehand. Don't know if you heard that, though, but they're praying for salt in the background. <laughs> oh. All the sodium chloride, indeed. Nick Sharko's got salt in his eyes. What can you do? And are we counting that round? I, uh, yeah, yeah. Oh, no, no, I think absolutely. Yeah. They played it out. I think they have to count it. All right. Well, so Nikki's now set up. We'll see if the button change helps. In the match two, just starts Again, it. Just going right just in. Doesn't for it. care. Just take these one. EXs. I don't care. Didn't get the bounce on the first one, but that see, second one range. so much damage. Can't you try to zone? Jen Jeremy getting in there. He's going for the overhead, but that is not going to work. He's putting on too much Ooh. pressure. He knows what he's doing. It's not going to work. That's the upcut. Good punish. Good blocks. Jeremy. Not One a, more combo. Yeah, this is probably going to do it. And yep. the EX to finish it out. We got Kenshi with almost three bar. Now he does have full meter. I'm expecting him to burn some here to get him off of him. Doesn't. Good block, though. Here comes a little bit of zoning. Now, think, Ni oh, Nikki should have tried to keep the zone game up a little yeah, bit Yeah, I think that might have been a button, uh, a missed button input, because it looked like he did just a random four in the middle of nowhere. Definitely. A little bit, there it is. Oh, there we go. Damage. Zoning yeah, out a little bit. This is, where, this is where Nikki needs to start zoning. Kotal Khan has no answer but block and run, block and run. Yeah, oh, there it yep, is. Good jump go. over this could by win. That's yep. going to be it. Good round. We're on to round three here for losers' quarters. Nikki needs to win this to stay in the tournament. Wow, Jeremy back dashes into the jump in. Gets Very thrown. good tech. Or, I'm sorry, throw. Well, Slip of the tongue. Zone, here Jeremy we go. Jeremy's getting beat up by this. Needs you cannot jump out. that. You can't jump that. Now you can get in. Right now, go. There we are. Misses it once again. Nikki over here, though. Yep. That, I was about to say, Nikki can just do an x ray. Take that one away from him. Oh, this not quite. Oh, no, yep, this will kill. This will kill. I forgot that, uh, you know, 
catch you at that last hit. Yeah, that does like 48%, I think. I think that last hit would have done two more percent, but. Hey, uh, will you update it to show that Dickie won? It is 1 1. Scroll it over, click, put that as a 1 right there. What, right there? Yeah, yeah. Right there? We're getting Type a... 1. There you go. Press the save. Floppy, floppy, floppy. Press the floppy. Right yep. there. All right, good job. All right, so while we were updating that, what do we got here? <laughs> Man. Jeremy, Jeremy does not block. I don't know what he wasn't blocking. He wasn't blocking a mid. Ooh, I don't throw. Putting it in the corner. He's got no EX. Well, yep. Yeah, there was nothing he was going to do there. Any air uppercut. Probably didn't need an uppercut there. That was a little risky, but still took the round. Well, he had some health. Wow. Oh, missing that EX. Yeah. He keeps missing that. That's so dangerous to miss. He's at a good range now, but he gets thrown, and he's back to this. One. Biggest problem with that move is, like I said, when that move, it starts out behind you, but the hitbox is an act until it's right over your head. All right, Still Finally very good damage. Yeah, Uses the breaker. So much meter. Oh, okay, here we go. One combo Here's could win this for Nikki. Good Jin's overhead. not going down without a uh, fight, though. Yep, you got is this it. it? Yep. Yeah, and that is it. Nikki's keep, keeping herself alive here. Nikki moving on. Good show, guys. Out. Fatality, too. And, and the we helicopter. get to see some slicey slice. Ow. 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 Hurts. Nikki showing some love for the esports you know, community. Of course, I, I feel like Jeremy wanted to go in a little too hard and wasn't really trying to bait. Which really, in this game, you know, when somebody has EX, you have to bait out some wake-ups now and again. Because if you don't, you're just... It, like just like we saw, you're gonna get knocked back. You're gonna get hit, and in a matchup like that, when you don't have the distance to, you know, you gotta stay in on somebody. You don't uh -oh. wanna be knocked away. Uh oh. Oh no. no! Did the PS4 just get turned off? Emergency! Emergency! Hey, where's AJ? Oh, where's AJ at? <laughs> of course, he's off playing Persona. Yeah, we have some technical difficulties. Hold on. Okay, so. uh... You know. So now we get to do this by radio. Fortunately, the guy, uh, Ant, is currently taking in for AJ at the moment. We don't uh, have the ability to switch the camera over at the moment. So you guys get to look at the no signal while we, uh, you know, talk. How was your guys' day today? You haven't been able to make it out to the tournament. That's all right. You guys have been, uh, you know, enjoying the show for the past few hours. Oh man, PS4 still dead. Hey, Nikki. Was, the, was the PS4 unplugged? Oh, it's asleep. Uh, okay. Somehow the PS4 went to sleep. How? MKX2. Yeah. MKX2 exciting for it. Had to go to sleep. It's back. Magic. Good stream so far. Uh, who's up? Nikki and. We got. Staff. 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 Be sure to reset the wins. Just hit the. Yeah. We're getting the names right. We're All right. Yeah, Draft House has been working out really well, actually. Uh, <laughs> we can't complain. We had a nice big turnout today. The powers issue that we had last time is gone, which is fantastic. Had something to do with PCs. <laughs> well, and they brought in some really nice heavy duty battery systems for us, yeah. which is really nice of them. Thankfully, the casual setups. We won't have another issue. Somebody's, got, somebody's PS3 got fried, didn't it? I hadn't heard that. But I heard that somebody's PS3 got that's fried. That's kind of a bummer. It might have just been a rumor. I'm not sure. Yeah. We got Pew Pew Card and Games in the house. Those guys have been holding some sick weeklies for Street Fighter. Like We're, here, around here, like if you want to, if you want some Street Fighter and you want to play, like who's playing right now, you need to go to Pew Pew. Like well, legit. I've been, I've been trying to go out to Pew Pew, but every time it's happening, I got work. Bums right. me out, so it's just like Dojo. Every time it's yeah, happening, I got work. Yeah. <laughs> Luckily, you know, in Kansas City, we're, we've pretty much got a hookup almost. I think we got it six nights of the week right now, so. Oh, yeah. Very satisfying. Mega Cake's happening once a week now, I yeah. believe. Braille's running that. It's all Smash and Skullgirls, and I believe they added Mortal Kombat X to it this week. Uh, this week, I think, is when they started. That surprised me. I know we have three. And button check. 
No, I think we go right check. into We're it. We're going in. Jax? Pumped up Jax, too. I don't really understand this pick. I guess he's... I really don't understand this. Punish. I'm no going to take a guess and say that because he needs to get in so often, he can just, you know, go for gotcha and beat I, down I, I assume. <laughs> I mean, I guess he wouldn't want to go fully loaded Jax. It seems like a bad idea for his zoning. And once again, we get the cheap stuff. Maybe he should have gone for heavy weapons. Spam that SMG and rocket launch it. Nice uppercut there. Oh, Scores. looks like that was a miss. Point. It is 0-0 zero, zero still. <laughs> well, the PS4 went to sleep mode. Yeah, it, it went, it kind of, it ducked out for a little while. Nice uppercut. Nikki's still Another looking strong. Nice uppercut. Yeah. <laughs> How dare you go in the air against me? What are you doing? It's Once very, again. I'm surprised that there's competitive players that are using uppercuts like that. To be honest, I, I, all props to Nikki, like seriously. I mean, very you, hard to use, but so much damage. Yeah, if you if you do a blatant jump in, I mean, you're gonna get hit. <laughs> oh, definitely. There we Good go. use EX wins the first one decisive. Well, that was fast. Hey, uh, Nikki won one. That was Nikki decisive. One. Is this still quarters or is this semis? This looks like losers finals. Is it really? Am I reading this right? No, it's not yet. Okay, yeah, put in a semi there. You yeah. raise quarters on that? What are you saying? Oh, it looks like character change, possibly. Staff might be changing. Sub Zero. Oh, nope. No. Yeah, I was going to say, that's not who he plays. <laughs> that's how I spell semis. Semi? That's how I spell semis. I am I? What? Before the on second the first I. I. Or before the I. Come on. You got this. You got this. He passed I, English. <laughs> he did not. Oh, he didn't? I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> Whatever, we're good. Loser semis Loser, here. <laughs> Loser's semis? I don't know what that is. Staff going right, in. So right now here. we got full on rushdowns. <laughs> Looks Sonya. like a very, very smart character change. So we, we saw this the other time when they were getting in and Ooh, Jeremy wasn't up. blocking properly. But, yeah. Got well, that's right a quick way in. to get in. EX kick. Well, that wasn't. Not much damage, but. Get you across the screen faster than anything else in the game. Good block. I think he baited that. That was great real nice. Keep it baited up where it again. Him. Now she has no meter. Though. We're even on meter. Nice hit. Good delayed oh, wake up. Very Still nice. Hit by the last hit. I don't really understand that. Um, it's a low and overhead. He does not know that last hit. As overhead. soon as you put your head up, vulnerable to everything except for mids and highs. Uh, and they let you. He could, he, could, let you. he stayed down long enough. He could be blocking the overhead. Good block on the EX. Not a hard punish, but that'll work. Does not hit. block the low. It looks like Nikki doesn't necessarily know this matchup very well, which doesn't surprise me. Well, it looks like Staff could actually stay out and just use the laser blast, to be honest. Oh, no, Nikki's not no. zoning not ne or not nearly enough. Uh, Staff 1-1. One, 1-1 one. One and one right now. Staff evens up. Missed dive kick. Nikki with an ill advised. Slightly summon. delayed combo there. I, 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 not a strong punish. He could have punished harder there, but you know, Nikki's still playing MK9, I'm pretty sure. So. Another nice combo right there, 33%. Well, staying damage. next to him to choose it. Oh, good bait. Unfortunately, doesn't do anything with it. Nice overhead into overhead. Oh. And a lot of damage here. The mix ups are insane right Besides now. Nice break. Does not block the dive. Very good overhead. Blatant dive kick. Yep, laser blast. Good. Oh, ducked it. Good duck. Yep, and Sonya EX is in. Nikki's going to have to adapt real quick. It's a good neutral jump. Once again, probably could have just neutral jumped one there and got some big damage, or at least more than nothing. Oh, definitely. And covert ops, Sonya Blade. Not so much about special moves, really. It's more about, you know, that overhead mix up. Man, it is ridiculous. Good block, does not punish. Punish, still not punishing. He's looking for the Punisher, but he's not finding it yet. She and he breaks at a really ill of time. He wasn't going to get any more damage than that down, too, so I really don't know why he broke there. Yeah, Nikki really needs to notice. She hit a few uppercuts, but Staff has learned the spacing, it seems, that he knows that he won't get punished by uppercuts, but Nikki keeps going for them. Yeah. It looks like Staff might win it. Just needs yeah. one more hit. Nikki's going to have Delayed. to pull something out of the hat. There we no. go. 2-1 uh, at the moment. Two. Yeah. I believe that's it. 
Nope. This is side. Uh, it's semis. It's, it's not semis. losers' finals. So yeah, I believe that's it. Is Nikki out? Uh, staff one. All right. Very good show from Nikki today. Unfortunately, getting kicked out right now at the uh, semifinals. Very strong, Kenshi. It's a little bit of work on the zone, but uh, damn good performance. Staff, though. What? Moving on to losers finals. Yeah, it's two on. We put up two a on great staff. show. Yeah, it's S E. So if you did like semi finals. Huh. It's S E M. So just do So the first irony is B. We need to get some more players up here. M K L S. And here they are. Showing up just on time. Who does MKL play? I actually don't know who MKL plays. No, this can't be Tor. No, no. Okay. I was about to say. No, I don't. Okay. Switch. Nobody's got this. We'd have it better if we figured out how to switch the cameras. No, uh, no, no. It's fine. It's fine. <laughs> uh, who, are, who are these gentlemen? Uh, you should have MKL, MKL and, staff. and staff. So staff won that match. Staff. Yes. Staff stayed put, so staff's gonna be on this side. MKL's on this side. Sonya, so weak. Man. There we go. Ooh, Another Kota Wow, that's two Kota Kans tournament. I was actually a little surprised by that. Am I seeing this right? Is staff playing Devora? Devora is strong, man. Devora is very strong. Yes. It's tricky to deal with. She can keep you at a very good distance too. Now, is this Venomous Devora, or is he playing another... I did not see. It looks like... It's not Venomous. No, it's Swarm, Swarm Queen. Queen. Swarm Queen's more about projectiles. Yeah, I saw somebody playing Venomous earlier. It's a really interesting setup. I don't. I haven't tried it out yet, but... Nice damage starting Missing the off. forward two. Uh-oh. Wow, just EXing oh, it. He says, not a Breaker, he does not want to risk getting in this uh, Vortex there. Alright. Nice, nice damage there. Ooh, good break. And both these players are really good with their grab game, and they aren't going to let each other get them. EX'd out. Now that move is so good. Yeah, the EX version is so good. And just chip. <laughs> yeah, not yeah, even need chip. Go. Didn't have much Stead to do there. Four. Probably would have been a bit safer to just uh, throw the paddle, but, you know, still took it. Staff there actually could have stood there and hit him with the stage interactable for, I believe, 15%. No, yeah, not a lot of people are using the stage interactables necessarily. I mean, Ooh. I think there are some uses. You can probably EX it right here, but... Nah. Nice grab there, keeping him in the corner. Still keeping that vortex. Mixed it well, up. Well, that's kind of odd. Like, Kotokan looks like when he runs at you in the corner, he almost does a run-over cross-up. Uh, every character does that. Yeah, that's actually. odd. Uh, dashing into the corner, if the character does a delayed wake-up, you always cross over. Hmm. It's so that you can... Uh, they wake up and do a wake up attack, you can knock him back. Uh, go sense. ahead and switch that over. Uh, I believe MKL right, so one. MKL one. First one. MKL representing oh, Lincoln. Not too many players out from Lincoln. Always nice to get people representing from all over. And yep, and straight to the Sonya. The Devar did not work out for him real well. Yeah, he ain't risking it. He needs to win this to carry on the grands. Both of these are very, very strong players right now. And we actually have a Nebraska. We, oh, we got plenty of people from Nebraska. Yeah, we have a Lincoln and an Omaha player. So this is kind Samson's of here, too. Shout out to Samson, man. Last time he's going to be here for a long time, unfortunately. Yeah, that is unfortunate. He's going to Korea. Shout out to Samson. Anyway, back to the match. Boy, just keeping that Ooh, pressure on Sony good. does not know what's pressure. going on. Thirty-two percent. He could have got more off that. He missed it a little bit. Wow, that's a lot of damage. Oh, definitely. Oh, this could be the. Oh, oh misses no. the neutral jump. Should have gone forward. Forward too much. All right, Sonya, once again ending it early, only getting twenty oh. percent. Yeah. Yeah. Throw the paddle. I think that Sonya needs to work on the combos a little bit. I think she's dropping a lot of damage that she shouldn't be. Uh, I think it's more of the fear of getting in close against War God. War God will put you on your ass. Very good well, throw I right mean, there. If you're, you're going to play Covert Ops, though, you're supposed to be mixing them up, too. I think you're going to have to figure that out. Wow, gets hit with the overhead. Strong. 
Such damage. There's so much damage. Oh, oh, missed it. Goes for the counter. This could be Puts game the gamble right here. out there. Loses all and his KL's running away a bit. And Looks that, like he got a bit disheartened there. All right. The first two. I'm sorry. Staff ran away a bit. My apologies. Uh, MKL took that. MKL. 2 0. Oh, staff looking, fighting for his life. Looking rather decisive at this point. So not going to go down without a fight, but he got a little disheartened on that one. Goes for the dive kick. Good blocks. Uh, oh, has not blocked the, the mix overhead, ups, but It looked like he was anticipating another low. Tip by the low, straight into overhead. Quick 32% into throw. It's a good throw. So Expecting a wake-up EX move. Do, do not get it. Wow. Another great hit. Another great hit. Oh, oh just went for it he's again. He's going to regret that later on. No if He meter. can't win this round. The next round's going to... Uh, the next, this round right here, it's gonna be the fight of his life right now. Used uh, all Street his Fighter uh, Israel won. Geef Kid, Geef Kid once again took uh, Grand. Uh, not too much of a surprise. Charlie didn't come out until much later. Good block, good punish, beautiful punish. Although once again losing, you know, if you're gonna lose the damage, and you're gonna rush up on him anyway. I don't necessarily yeah, know really. if that's a good idea. But oh, EX could use the armor. Yes, that was great. Yeah, looks like he took this one. Staff needs to win this round or he's out is, of the tournament. Is this a download? Staff just all of a sudden figure out what's going on with this character? I don't know. Uh, when Skullgirls. Skullgirls I don't happens know. at 8, I think. And it's almost 8. Hell, I don't know, actually. I actually don't know what's after this. Probably Marvel? Wow, gets Not hit with this, the X. Uh, after this is Guilty Gear. Ah, uh, yes, yeah, Guilty Gear. 36% already wow. less than half. MKL barely scarred, but here we go. 75% of his good health Good bait. Have good put him at 50. bait. Rush up. Good block. There we go. Just barely has Another life advantage. Another great bait. Now, see, now we're seeing what Sonya can do. And KL, he needs to work on that EX overhead, wow, though. Wow, so much Here respect we go, given there, and this is going to hurt. Oh, oh no. Yeah, there we go. Did not punish, punish the Staff, whip, Staff, unfortunately, knocked out of the tournament. Both players shaking hands. And... Damn Winner, good show from NKL. NKL. Looks like he's moving on to Grand Finals. Very, very strong showing from staff today. Really killer Sonia. Would have had a bit of a better chance if he didn't go with DeVore there in the first round, but you know. You gotta experiment with different characters sometimes, fill your opponent out. Sold. Yeah, sold. Sold. Uh, so MKL takes that one now. Right. We're gonna see some Bojitsu, I believe. Oh God, Bojitsu for the grand finals. MKL versus Black Ken. Staff though, he might have come in third, but still taking all. It's yes, gonna be gonna grand that. finals, folks. I believe you're gonna see Bojitsu. I'm assuming he's gonna start with Sonya. I really don't think. No, he's gonna go with Kotal. Kotal, definitely. Uh, this will be interesting. You know, Kotal has a range that Bojitsu kind of likes to stay in. Definitely. And Bojitsu, the triple smack attack, you know, the spin, spin overhead, that move hits fast enough that his overhead EX, the armor will get broken. So we need to be really careful on when he times that or else he's going to get smacked out of it. Uh, cash. Yeah, it's all cash. Uh, cash, cash, money. Let's first go. First place takes home 60 seconds, third, fourth is 10, I believe. Or, you know, third I don't, I don't is know 10. What the MK payouts are. I think, I think it'd be universal. I mean, I don't know how much cash. AJ, well, it depends on the number. You know how many people entered in MK? How many people entered? 28. 28? Yes. $280. It's $280. It's probably a 60, 60 30, 10. Right. So it's going to be a pretty good payday for the winner. Do the math. Tell us. We're not 100% sure. It'd be kind of disrespectful to get on our phones, get on the calculator. I'm really interested in this because, you know, I've, <laughs> I was watching. We're getting started, though. Here we go. Black Grand Canada. finals. Doesn't look like a button check either. Luckily, you can set your buttons at the character select screen. Now we're going right at it. And right off the bat, oh, he misses the combo. And does EX flip kick. Good block on the overhead. Tries the zone a little bit, gets punished. I believe he actually dashed out of that overhead. I don't think he got hit. Oh, wow. I don't know what he was doing there. He tried to jump out of it. Tries the neutral, too. 
gets it forward to for his trouble. Very nice uppercut there. Um, it's $10 buy-in, $10 venue fee, unless you brought a setup, in which case it's $5. But now we're seeing why Bojutsu is so damn strong. Oh, and so much cool. damage. So what you saw there is uh, Kung Jun actually did 4-3 twice, but it's safe on block. I don't know why. It actually oh. is a mid into overhead that you can cancel into a low. Oddly enough, that combo is in 1% damage less than normal. It's kind of odd. <laughs> And Alex Pye. Oh, really nice. double slam. Really nice. So yeah, much damage. That's 40% or 39%. Sun Jen going in now saying, hey, give me some damage. There it is. Good break. Starting to notice a bit of a pattern with MKL. He gets Good block. second round, man. MKL does not have the he meter to goes cancel in. it. One hit and it's Whoa, over. Here we go. His Both nerf players wasn't enough. Well, maybe not in Bojitsu. The problem is, if they nerf Bojitsu, they make his other two variations worthless. So, yeah, his other two variations are pretty much worthless in the first place. Bojitsu is just so strong. Um, the only nerfs that they he had, I believe, were uh, damage scaling fixing. Uh, he had some massive frame nerfs. Oh, did he? Yeah, his one one no longer it. was even. His overheads no longer even. His down ones a little slower. Ah. They, they they actually changed a lot about him. I see. On top of the damage nerfs, so I got you. He's still he's still good. I'm not gonna say he's bad. Oh, I mean, he's, he's still oh, strong. Oh, he's great. But I definitely wouldn't say he needs to be nerfed again. I mean, let's let's wait this out and see how this goes for a little bit before we start saying nerf. Gets Regardless, hit with the overhead. That's bro. gonna do. Oh, oh the very breaker. smart breaker. I, oh, and unblockable. gets hit by the unblockable. Looks like he was anticipating. MKL the, uh, takes the first one. saw blade throw. MKL though, he has to win quite a few rounds in order to get in. He Kung. has to reset that bracket. Yes, he does. That's going to be, what, uh, 10 wins? Six? He's six wins. Six wins. Six wins. MKL has to win six wins. Quick 37%. Misses the dive kick. Good block. Oh, gets punished with the forward two for his trouble. Nice damage. Yes. <laughs> Good block. MKL oh. won the one or one wow. black, black dash didn't know that he is not going to get hit by any of those shenanigans. Another good set of uppercuts, I'll keeping him in the corner. EX. Blocked it. That's all right. That's not minus that much on block, so it's Neither okay. Character didn't go down. There oh, we go. Tried to ex dive kick. Loss of meter. MKL right winning the next round. This is looking right now. MKL has a really good advantage. Good down. Jin has no throw. meter. Good forward three. Doesn't seem to care, though. He's going in for those mix-ups. Another Very throw. good throw He's rush in. No, he backs off. And, you know, every time I've seen him shoot an arrow, Kotokan's jumped over it and punished Definitely. him for it. So maybe he should put the arrows back in the quiver and just leave it there. Black, Black Ken was having a really good uh, showing with the arrows a couple of matches back uh, when he was using a point blank. But MKL's too smart for that. He's been hopping over him the entire time. He's not going to let any of them hit him. And Yo. there we go. That is a mid, folks. You can't duck that. Uh, MKL won second round. Second match, rather. And MKL won away from On resetting On the fast this train to resetting it. Switching to Scorpion, though. Getting a bit of cheese up in here. I mean, he's fine for his tournament life. He cannot let that bracket be reset. Going for Inferno. As every other scorpion on the face of the earth tends to Almost do. definitely. <laughs> I don't know. I don't I don't necessarily think he needed to change, honestly. I think he he just made a couple of really blatant mistakes. I think yeah, he could have stuck with Kung Jen, but we'll see. Although Black Ken has a very solid scorpion. Going for the overhead. Kotokan keeping it close, making it unsafe to fuck, uh, to start summoning stuff. He's making sure that he doesn't press any buttons yeah. though. He's punishing all those teleports. Black Ken was having problems earlier with teleports. It's a little jump kick overhead, and there's the ground. Breaker, Breaks it right though, away. He's that, not going to let him himself get a lot of damage right there. 34%, I believe, plus a reset. Still get hit by the overhead, though. Oh, Good block, but very not smart running. block. Great mix up from Black Ken right now. Oh, oh no, looks like that, that might have been the wrong button pressed. EX should be yeah. uppercut, and the, yep, there we go. 15% damage, it's enough to finish it off. Ill-advised summons, unfortunately. I'm uh, not quite sure. 
Uh, Guilty Gear is going to be after the money match. And it sounds like winner's finals and on is what I'm yes. hearing. So. It's going to be after the money match. Black Ken showing oh, off how good it is. Missed the, the reset, combo. though. Can't punish from that distance. Could have gone for that stage interactable. Oh, good tip. Good nice tip hit. Oh, punish. just barely. There it is. Fantastic punish right here from Black Ken. Resets and gets thrown for his trouble. That's the second reset that he's tried that he's just ended up getting thrown out of. Um, Scorpion has no option but to reset or throw. Throw will give you an extra 2% damage. Reset. Another whole combo. <laughs> Gets the overhead. Another overhead. Putting the, Another putting one. the pressure on. MKL oh here needs God, to get in there. Oh, my God. Watch your feet, please. Very nice Rage, uppercut. Interesting. And gets hit with the low again. Should now, no, drops looks the like combo. Black Ken could bait out an X-ray here. Good. I would just keep doing it. As yep. soon as he gets in. There we go. Misses the combo. Will we see an X-ray? I really um, would be surprised if he tried to X-ray here. Unless it was he to could, end the round. It could chip. It could chip. Yeah, I used yep, the breaker. That though. was a good breaker. And oh. takes the round. Black Ken making sure that the racket doesn't get reset quite yet. Still 2-1. Very good job blocking those. Nice little low poke. Good block on the low. Still gets hit by the overhead, though. He broke him out of that first overhead, but it looks like he fell for it that time. Yep, and the... MKL going for a very good combo right here. Teleport is punished strongly. We've seen this combo only a few times from MKL, but when he lands, it's so much damage. 40%. You don't want to get hit by that. He might win this round. Don't waste any meter. Yep, all right. Kotokan takes that decisively. Black Ken needs to be a lot more careful with the spacing game. He needs to start zoning some more like he just did. Wow, uh, gets him with the low out of nowhere. Very oh. smart use of the hell hands. Once again, does not go for the uh, spear. I don't feel like he's... Uh, Xbox Maybe should adjust his combos a little bit, but... Oh, drops oh, the combo. Looks like he might have pressed the wrong button on that one. Gets hit on his back dash. Luckily, he doesn't take the full damage, but... Very Ooh. smart breaker right there. That All right. Right down to about 30% health left. Great use of the spear here, going in for wow, nice combo. The right hell hands missing. Very surprising. Jump kick blocks. Trying to keep him away right now. ML Good or KL ain't gonna people. let it happen though. Very smart use of his uppercut combo. Ooh. That's not this safe. This could be which, it. Yeah. Bracket. Oh wow. no, not quite. And he does right. it again. And the bracket is reset. The bracket is reset, folks. This could be it. MKL might win this. He's been playing extremely strongly throughout this entire tournament, and Black Ken seems to be dropping a couple of his very easy to land target combos. Oh, switching back to Kung Jin. Smart decision. Yeah. <laughs> Jiu Jitsu is so strong, especially against Kotal Khan. And we are back to Kung Jin. I think he should have stuck with Kunjun, honestly. Yeah, um, is Scorpion, he was doing great when he was zoning, but he doesn't seem to be comfortable zoning. Uh, oh, oh does not barely got that two. first hit. EX just to keep him safe, overhead. And here yeah, comes here the Vortex. Go. Misses the combo. Such a Backs strong Kunjin, too. Tried to see if he could get a uh, jump grab there. Neutral jump, too. So strong for Kunjin. His Very range is powerful. kind of sickening. Nice 31% damage. Wow, Kung Jin's trying to meet him in the air, but he's doing it so late. He's making sure that he doesn't build up enough meter to get a breaker here. Another Ouch. great grab. This round looks like it might be to MKL. He just needs one mix up. Well, that'll be it. Do not use any EX meter at this point. Yep. Yep. Save it for the next round. MKL looking a little dominant at the moment. Good block. Still going for the neutral. Oh, he does not get the punish off baiting out that overhead. Um, we are still leaving at 9, correct, AJ? Yes, we are. We're still leaving at 9.30, right? What? We're still leaving at 9.30, right? Uh, we're going to start packing up at 9, and we're going to try to be out of here by 10. Yeah. Wow. You might not be EX able to see too much EX. guilty here, unfortunately. Good. Very strong right here. And full combo and a quick 28%. 
And gets it again. Black Ken, extremely strong Kung Jin. Showing him that he's not out of this oh, quite yet. Oh, did not get the neutral jump too. Good block. MKL running very and long and This is it. The tick grab. They are even once again. Will Black Ken be able to win this one? Put himself ahead. Uh oh. Here we go. Get the X overhead. Done. Gets the neutral dump too. Quick 26%. There we go. A couple of arrows. Wants to still hitting that neutral dump too. It's such a strong move for Kung Jin. His range on that neutral dump too is so long. Oh wow! Oh, there we table go. Deal. But does do not this. follow it up. Though. Tried to punish the X. That's surprised that didn't hit actually. Good block. Oh wow! Oh, Gets hit into and another that one. Should one more combo will win this yeah. round. I think he can just chip him out if he just. Oh, no, no, he's not going to let it happen. There. Neither players have she... enough meter for anything really. Nice. There we go. Though. Gets as soon as with I the said EX. that too. Flip kick. Down back four is strong. It's like MKL getting coached a little bit here. Actually, I think it was Black King getting coached. MKL's doing his thing. <laughs> wow, you should have blocked maybe? These combos. Here's a quick 40%. So 43%. And he's going to get hit again. Yeah. No breaker. Might be a bit too late in this round to yeah, do Yeah, actually, you should probably just save it. I mean, let's be honest yeah. here. MKL, very, very convincing right now. We've oh, been seeing this a here's lot a start. From him. Here's a start. Kung Jin could start his offense. Well, this might be worth using some meter right about now. Black Kin. Oh. 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 There we go. Going for the low. Oh. oh. Got him on the pop up. Ridiculous hitbox. Ridiculous. That was behind him. This game's silly. <laughs> this game is still, it's true. All right, gets the jump in throw. Tossed away. Oddly enough, he didn't duck that one. That's duck save. It's not wow. the... Wow, uh, gets hit with the down four two. Or down two. It's not the circular one. All right. A little Got bit a of a coinage here. up there. Wow, went for the overhead. That's actually not punishable, though. And oh, very smart use of his EX yep. overhead there. Wow, tried to punish the lift grab, but did not actually convert. There we go. One more combo will win this. And, and throw that's, that's gonna it. Kill him. Uh, Looks like MKL is one, and Black Ken has one. Both players even currently. We're seeing though that was a very smart decision to wow, switch back. Wow, diving not Jin. safe. Doesn't really get punished that hard for it though. Wow, the low bow swing into 4-3. Here comes the mix-up. Nice Decides to break it. I don't know if I'd break that one, but you know what? It's early in the match. You might as well use your meter now. Safe. Good throw break. Wow, doesn't get the neutral dump, too. That's unfortunate. I felt like that came out fast enough where he should have been able to hit that. Very nice dive kick there. Wow, misses Did the not ender. follow it up properly, but still good positioning. We're now seeing MKL blocking that 4-3 overhead, so I think maybe it's nice time to mix up a little bit. There we go. Round one to MKL. Black Ken's really getting beat air to air, unfortunately, which when you're a Kung Jin, you don't necessarily want to happen at all. Especially against Kobo Khan. Kobo Khan has his EX overhead, but again, it only starts to be active once it's right above your head. Yep. Although, as we have seen, it hits behind yeah, you yeah, occasionally. It hits everywhere. <laughs> Very nice blocking right here. Wow. MKL has been using that target. Black Ken really needs to adjust and realize that his four or three mix-ups aren't working. You can cancel the first medium of four or three into a low, so I don't really know why he's just letting it rock. Uh oh. This, this is gonna put him in a very dangerous position. You go. No crouch tech. And there we go. MKL takes two match one. two. Black MKL. Ken's fighting for his life right now. MKL is on match set. Let's go. Changing characters, so we're gonna see another scorpion. Black King getting some coaching. It's like Beezy Bop trying to tell him what's up. And his regardless other whether, ancestral. Regardless of whether or not he wins, though, he's put on a fantastic show so far. Oh, looks like we might have gotten a stage select. Maybe they're going to be trying to use some uh, interactables this time around. Nah. 
Honestly, the Interactables really don't change the game all that much. It's not exactly like Injustice where the Interactables were. Ah, uh, you got Blanche. Come on. <laughs> I mean, she's got a brutality, which I find hilarious. Oh, definitely. But... I didn't even know she had a brutality. Totally. Yeah, it just came out like a couple days ago with the newest patch, so. Wow, does an unsafe. Oh. Back forward three. Black Kent's nice. nerves might Mitchell have been getting to him two. here. Quick 26 Very percent. strong combo, though. Nice use of his arrow. Yeah, Delayed it just enough. Good low. Does not convert it into a combo. But he makes me use a breaker. That's great. Ooh. Make sure he doesn't have enough meter to do Good. much with. Good block. Wow. Very Whips. odd jump, too. Whiffs the neutral jump, too. Wait for forward three out in the middle of nowhere. I really hope that was an input error. Very good grab. Although grabs in this game give oh he he doesn't realize that you can't just duck that you got to block it and gets punished for his trouble that's one round this is it if NKL wins this round NKL's it's all a over tournament point folks still going for that forward three gets punished for his troubles uh oh incredibly it's looking great looking like NKL's pressure is a little too much at this point. Oh, put himself in the corner. Oh, lifts once again the neutral jump. Blocks oh, very it, smart. Just not. Oh, that punish. seems like that was an input error. All right, he can still get this started. All right, there's the overhead, and there's the low. There we go. Golf and this club is what Kunjin does so well. Just relentless pressure from both wow, players. Wow, just not. Very nice overhead. Oh, Gets got the EX anti air, air grab. Besides. Wow, that's not safe on non EX. Black Ken fighting for his life. Can't make no, any mistakes. No, he misses it. One combo in this, that's and this safe. could be it. Is this that's it? That's it. That's it. It's over. Black that's Ken it. comes and in Black second Ken place. Black is your MKX winner. No, 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 no. MKL is the MKX winner. Oh, I said MKX. MKL playing MKX. <laughs> Same difference. Whatever. There we go. Nebraska takes it. Fantastic showing. From MKL. Total con too much. Let's see if we can catch an interview with him. MKL! MKL! I'm going to go over there and, uh, you know, get some All right, money. Switching to Guilty Gear. I'm going to hop off. You're going to get some new announcers. And I don't 